Hello, everyone! I am Sword Calibur 687, and today I will talk about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I am really a big fan of the Tenkaichi video games. I had played Tenkaichi 3 on the Wii, and they're really amazing games. I hope that's the character roster for the next Tenkaichi video game. It's much bigger than Tenkaichi 3. Bandai had shown a grid on how many characters might make it in Sparking Zero, but I don't think that it is the total roster. For my personal opinion, I think that this version of the grid is not the final version. The grid we saw in the trailers does look a bit rough and unpolished. Another possible reason why Bandai has shown us this grid, it is because Bandai wants us to be hyped on what Dragon Ball characters might or might not be in Sparking Zero. I think this is a perfect time to talk about how Bandai should handle GT in Sparking Zero. I would like Bandai and Spike Saw to make the GT story mode better than Tenkaichi 3. The GT story mode would start at the beginning of the Baby Saga with General Wildo through the end of the Shadow Dragon arc. The reason why I picked these arcs, it is because the GT story mode should tell you what you need to know about the main storylines of GT. Story mode would tell you a brief summary on what is going on with the Black Star Dragon Balls and why Goku got transformed into a kid. The only thing I would want Spike Soft to add in the story mode, it would be the fight between Goku and Oob. Oob, for my idea, would serve as the first boss for the GT DLC, and to be also a tutorial boss at the beginning of GT. Now, let's talk about the GT stages I would want in Sparking Zero. The stages I would want for the GT story mode, it would be Planet M2, Planet Tuffle, and Desert City. The reason why I am picking these stages, it is because these stages don't really show up in a lot of Dragon Ball video games. The Budokai games, or even the Tenkaichi video games, always have some rushed aspects of the GT story mode. When the developers are adapting GT, some of the things might be cut, like rushing some characters' movesets, or even cutting out some stages from GT. But I would like that to change. GT should have way more representation in other Dragon Ball video games and competitive Dragon Ball games for their story modes, or even their versus modes when it comes to stages. I would talk about a little bit on these stages I would really want in the game, all because I think these stages are really important. Planet Tuffle should be one of the stages that should be in the game, all because Baby resurrects Planet Vegeta and renamed it Planet Tuffle. This is the stage where Majub fought Baby and Super Saiyan 4 Goku was first introduced in Dragon Ball GT. Planet M2, it is the stage I would want for the GT DLT, all because it is a robotic planet. I think that the shell shading would be really amazing in that stage, all because it's really metallic. The last stage, Desert City. I think that this stage should be in Sparking Zero, all because the final battle between Omega Shinron, Ice, and Nova Shinron happened in this stage. 
I would want that abandoned amusement park and that casino looking area in Desert City. Now I think this would be a good time to talk about new characters and returning characters for Sparking Zero. First, let's talk about the returning GT characters. I would like the GT characters to have new and different super attacks. First, I would talk about Maju. I would want Maju to have a new super attack, which is the Chocolate Beam Tornado. The next GT character, it would be GT Goku. I would want GT Goku to have the Dragon Flurry Fist as a super attack. Dragon Flurry Fist, it would be similar to that to Super Saiyan God Goku's God Bomb. GT Goku would use his Key Blast as a melee attack and combos with that Key Blast. The next GT character, it would be Baby Vegeta. I would like Baby Vegeta to have Parasite Takeover. Parasite Takeover, it is an ability that the baby has in GT. It allows him to brainwash or manipulate anybody who he previously possesses. I think this ability would be really awesome the baby to have in Sparking Zero, all because it's a really cool ability. Another Saiyan character with a change moveset, it would be GT Vegeta. GT Vegeta would have all of his Saiyan transformations and Wild Buster. This is going to be the last part of this video. Let's talk about the new GT characters. The new GT characters I would want to be playable, it would be General Rilzo, GT Goten, GT Trunk, and Ocean Chinron. General Wildo would be a really awesome character to play as in Sparking Zero, all because he really has a cool metal manipulation ability. Next is GT Trunks and Goten. Since Trunks is the third main character of GT, I would like Spike Saw to do his movesets justice. GT Goten would be a really awesome character to play as in Sparking Zero, all because in the story mode, he would be possessed by Baby, and you get to fight Gohan and GT Vegeta. The moves I would want Goten to use, it would be Full Power Energy Wave and Explosive Wave. The last character that should be playable, it should be Ocean Shinron. Ocean Shinron has an ability to manipulate wind. I would like that to be shown in Sparking Zero. This would be a good point to end the video. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe. Also leave a comment below if you guys really want to see more of my content. Anyway, see you guys soon.